my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Everybody just calm down! Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. This was a video I was not expecting to make, because I actually had a video planned, which will come out tomorrow, to do with the new set photos. However, Supergirl has got an official premiere date for Season 6, so we need to break it down and talk about what is happening with the show. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So it's a crazy time to be a DC fan because you have the flashback, obviously we covered that earlier this week, we covered Superman Lois which is on episode 2 and episode 3 is coming next week, the Flash episode 2 is also coming next week and so yeah, so many crazy things but the biggest thing is the CW just announced that Supergirl is coming back for a season 6 premiere on March the 30th. Say what? Who was expecting that? No one, because they weren't actually going to do this, and so I'm really shocked. Supergirl is going to be coming back this month. In 25 days, Supergirl is going to be here, so I think that's just over three weeks' time. So, yeah, Supergirl is coming back, guys, and it's coming back this month. So this is a very shocking announcement because we were all expecting it to come out in the summer. So let's go ahead and break this all down. I've got, like, a bunch of notes because I'm going to explain the reason why Supergo is coming back so early compared to what we thought. So Supergo is officially returning to the CW on Tuesday, March 30th at 9, 8 central. So the second time slot of the night. Now, you guys might be thinking, why is it on a Tuesday? That's the Flash's day. Well, it was just announced that Superman Lois is going on a hiatus already after episode 5. Right, we're on episode 2 right now, so in 3 episodes time, Superman Lois is going to be gone and Supergirl is going to be taken over. Now, this decision is unprecedented, right? We had a delay a while back in Supergirl Season 3 where it was off for a couple months. However, we've never had such a big filming delay that it's caused another show to have to take over. So basically, to explain what's going on here, Superman Lois is very far behind on its filming and that is why it is going on a break after episode 5 so they can catch up. I have no idea why it's taken them so long to film. I have no idea at all. So what is happening is Supergirl is going to be taking over after Superman Lois airs its episode 5. And then on March 30th, Supergirl is going to be swooping in and taking the Tuesday time slot. So it's going to be a crazy Tuesday. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of my videos because you guys know the Flash and Supergirl are the main two shows we cover on this channel, and I always do reviews and trailer breakdowns for both of the shows. So I'm going to have to update you guys on terms of my schedule, because right now we are running with The Flash. We're going to review it straight away, like we did last episode, straight away after the episode airs. And I don't know if we're going to do that with Supergirl, but I'm going to keep you updated, because I have no idea what's going to happen, because they're both airing on the same day, and it's going to be crazy trying to get four videos in in, like, less than two days, so... I'll let you guys know, be on the lookout for that. However, yes, Supergirl is coming back and it's going to be on a Tuesday night. It's never been on a Tuesday night, it used to be on a Monday night, and then recently it's been on Sunday. And so basically its role here is just to swoop in and fill Superman and Lois' time slot because they are so far delayed. And Supergirl is not normally in the 9-8 central time slot, however it was for a bit last season. So, I mean, it's not unprecedented, but this is kind of crazy, guys. So let's just take a step back here. So Superman and Lois is delayed, which causes Supergirl to come back early. Not expected. However, I guess it makes sense. But then an even stranger thing is going to happen, as Supergirl will start from March 30th, and it's going to be running for 8 weeks, and it's going to air 8 episodes. However, at that point, Superman and Lois is going to come back and return to its Tuesday time slot with The Flash, and Supergirl is going to go on a 10-week long break. A 10-week long break, so yeah, they're basically going to be flip-flopping, and Supergirl is going to be on for a long time, which is exciting, and we're going to talk about how long Supergirl is going to be on to, and when the finale is going to air, because we do kind of roughly know when it is going to air now. So yeah, crazy time, Supergirl will air 8 episodes before it goes on a long break over the summer, and then Superman Lois is going to be returning with episode 6, and that date is May 18th, 
at 9, 8 central on the Tuesday, obviously. Superman Lois will return and they will air 10 more episodes because they have 15 in the season and they're going on break from episode 5. And then Supergirl will return roughly around then. However, we don't know what day as of right now. So, number one. I'm incredibly excited that Supergirl is coming back because I've been waiting and I've been dying to find out when this premiere date is coming out and I'm sure most of you guys have been freaking out like, when is it coming, when is it coming, they just announced the Stargirl date, they announced the Legends of Tomorrow date, when is Supergirl going to premiere? So I think they were definitely 100% planning on releasing Supergirl Season 6 in the summer, so around June or July, however they totally changed this due to Superman and Lois running behind. Obviously the showrunner had to go to the CW and be like, yeah, we're running behind, we can't keep up to this schedule. And then probably the CW had to take an action where they're like, yes, we need a show to fill up this time slot if Superman and Lois is being delayed. And luckily enough for them, Supergirl has been filming and they're still filming right now. They're around episode 10 or so. So they do have those eight episodes in the bag that they're going to be airing already. So I guess it works for them and it makes sense that they're going to air those episodes. However, it does feel a bit rushed, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, because they were 100% planning on releasing it in the summer. And considering they just announced their spring schedule, which obviously March is a part of spring, it feels like a very last minute decision. So it's just a bit weird. I don't think it's going to affect Supergirl in terms of quality because they filmed those episodes already. But if it's going to affect one show, it's probably going to affect Superman and Lois because they're so far behind. The CW is going to be like, yeah, you guys, you got to hurry up. You got to film these episodes and get out on time. Otherwise, you know, it's not sustainable that we run the show for this long and you're running so far behind that we have to sacrifice other shows. So a crazy time to be a DC TV Arrowverse fan. Okay, right. So Superman and Lois is returning Tuesday, May 18th and 9, 8 central and they will air 10 more episodes after that. So that basically translates to, yes, we're gonna be airing 10 more episodes for 10 weeks, and then Supergirl should return roughly around then. Now, when is that? So Superman and Lois will finish its last episode on the last Tuesday of July. And so that is July 27th, and then the week after would be when Supergirl is roughly going to return. So I'm presuming Supergirl is gonna stay in the Tuesday time slot, and if it does keep that Tuesday time slot, Supergirl is going to air on the first Tuesday of August. So we're looking at an August 3rd return for Supergirl. And by that time, The Flash would have finished airing its season because The Flash is going to be finished with its season on Tuesday night around the end of June. So apart from Superman and Lois, there is going to be no show on the Tuesday. So when Superman and Lois finishes, Supergirl could take the Tuesday time slot and instead of being 9, 8 central, the second time slot of the night, they can move it forward to the Flash's time slot, which is 8, 7 central, where Supergirl, I think is the best fit, right? So it could totally return on Tuesday and I got a feeling they're gonna go with that. So expect Supergirl to return August 3rd for episode nine. And so with Supergirl stopping and going on a long hiatus from episode 8, that means that they have 12 more episodes to film, which translates to they have 12 more weeks. And what is 12 weeks after August 3rd? 12 weeks later, that translates to it's going to finish October 12th if it sticks to the Tuesday time slot. So this is DC TV Central, DC TV all year round because if you guys didn't know, the CW plans to air its new seasons of The Flash and Batwoman and all the shows that are returning for next season, literally in that week or like the week after in October. So if Supergirl finishes on October 12th, which is projected to right now, that means that literally as Supergirl finishes, The Flash season 8 is going to be on. So it's going to be DC TV all year round. And I couldn't be more happy about this, to be honest. I'm really excited. And yes, I'm bummed that Supergirl is going to have like a 10 week long break. However, when it returns, it's going to be on for 12 weeks. And then literally as it hits its finale, we're going to have the Flash season 8 premiere. So that is super exciting. And I hope you guys are really excited about that and seeing the new seasons literally air right after Supergirl finishes with its actual series finale. And so Supergirl will then return for the back half of its season later in the summer. That is what they've said. And so Supergirl will return after Superman Lois finishes season one. It has 15 episodes and, you know, they could definitely use the Tuesday time slot like I've mentioned a couple of times in this video. However, there is a possibility that Supergirl moves to another day. 
Although I think it makes the most sense because Tuesday is one of their best days in terms of ratings and the CW because the Flash is always on a Tuesday and it's always been there. And so with the Flash not being on with the Flash finishing at the end of June and Superman Lois finishing at the end of July, that Tuesday time slot is going to be freed up and Supergirl should definitely take the Flash's time slot. So for now, wow, that is a lot to take in. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll keep you guys updated as to my video upload schedule for Supergirl and The Flash. Well, I can say one thing for sure, it's going to be crazy having the two best shows on the CW, in my opinion, and the two shows we cover the most on this channel in the same night. I'm going to figure out and I'll update you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.